This system is the ultimate large operation system. Whether you have one cow or a thousand cows, it'll work for you. So this is a system that is for a good, fast moving operation that is low stress on the cattle and safe for the handlers and the cattle. The sweep system back here really works nice because you always wanna work the animal from the side. And the way this sweep system is set up, you're always working from the front or the side of the animal. You never get behind them. This system has an adjustable alley. We can work four weight calves with it adjusted down. We can take it all the way down and work real small animals or bring it all the way out for bulls, large cows, whatever. Another good feature here is the no back gravity alley stop. It, uh, it allows these cattle to come in, get under, and as they go by, it'll keep them from backing out. For your smallest animal, it should go about six inches under the tail head. That way it's not too hard for them to get under it, but it, they can't get back on it either. The solid side is a real popular design. With this setup here, we have the back side of the alley closed, and the front side of the alley where the humans work, open. If you work right, that causes the animal to flow real nice. The nice thing about this solid side is it's not so high that you have to have a catwalk. You can stay safe and walk on the ground and the animals, about any size animal can see you once you get close enough. So this is about the right height for safety, for working cattle, for all, all the advantages. Another real nice advantage to this system here is this inline scale. Um, I like it that it's before the shoot. If we're using proper beef quality assurance procedures, we're going to weigh our cattle before we give them antibiotics or vaccines. We want to know their weights. So this is a real big advantage and for record keeping and all these things you have time enough to get the animal recorded and weighed before he actually gets to the chute. I believe any big operation should have a scale before their chute. A feature that all vets require if you're going to get any work done on a cow, crate checking or working on a cow from behind or working with bulls is a palpation cage. Whatever, this is a real nice easy system. It's safe. It's easy. You can have cattle back here, step in and work on cattle in front of you. Real safe feature. Okay, David, we talked about the rancher chute. Right. What's this chute? The, the biggest feature differences between it and the rancher uh, is in size. It, they've got the same durability, so it doesn't matter uh, from the standpoint of, of one being stronger than another, both of them are equally strong. But this chute is seven inches longer so you can get those bigger herd bulls in. Uh, from the standpoint of uh, working more cattle with two controls on the table day, one here, one here, in case we happen to have somebody here working with us, uh, that's a big help for us. Uh, it's got the same Model 91 head gate on it. It's got the same uh, side agent on it so that you can, you can turn that loose back over. Uh, the other one had a side agent on it too, but if you get a cow down, that's an important uh, option to have. And uh, same contour sides, back panels. So biggest difference is the length of the chute. It's a little bit taller, a little heavier, uh, made for the bigger operations. This chute was designed so that one person could stand in one place and operate the entire chute without having to have a lot of help around it. It was designed so it's cleaner up and down the side. The importance of having the manual head gate that you see working here, or the self-catching feature, uh, is immensely important when it comes time to pick up that one cow that might need to be doctored so I can set my automatic or my self-catch 
I can go back to the back, run that cow up, and push her in here. She sees the opening and hits it and trips it and catches herself. One of the big things we addressed when we went to the Model S04 shoot, because the BQA's requirements of neck injections, we wanted to get better neck access. And so now we've modified this shoot to allow when you squeeze that cow up, you've got excellent access in here if you're trying to give neck injections, nothing in your way. Should be provide a lot safer and more convenient way to get your cat, your, uh, your livestock with their injections. Another important thing to think about is, is when the cattle exit out of the chute. If they've been worked properly back behind, they ought to walk out of the chute pretty calmly. If they're too excited and stirred up, they'll come out of here real fast, and they could hurt themselves on this concrete slip. And you want to make sure they have a good straight path before they have to turn.